Hello guys, today I'm going to explain you how can we solve this problem known as burst balloons and this problem is uh, on lead code and this is tagged as hard problem so I'll try to explain what the approach that we should follow for the problem similar to this and what are the intu intuition behind this behind our approach so let's read the problem statement the problem statement says that we are given n balloons and they are indexed from 0 to n minus 1 and each balloon is painted with a number on it so basically each balloon is representing a number so what we are asked to do is we should burst all the balloons and when we are bur bursting one balloon then what happens is we gain some profit and the profit is the number printed on the uh, balloon that is on the left of the balloon that we bursted and the number printed on the balloon and that we bursted and the number printed on the balloon to the right of the balloon that we bursted then what we do is we multiply all these three number and we add it this number to our profit so what are we supposed to do is we need to find the maximum profit that we can gain by doing this uh, operation so one thing to notice here is that when we burst one balloon let's say we burst ith balloon so what happens is i minus 1 and i plus 1th balloon both become adjacent now so this is the thing that we need to take care and yeah let's say for example if there was only one balloon then we can assume that there is a balloon on left and right end of it so basically this is what it is saying that nums of minus 1 that means the left to the first value and right to the last value we can assume that there are imaginary balloons which we cannot burst but we can use them to multiply here and it is written that the number of balloons can be 500 and the maximum number that is written on the balloon can be up to 100 now let's try to um, solve this problem taking some other examples as well all right so let's take this example here we have certain balloons which are the these solid ones are the real ones and in the ends we have the imaginary ones uh, which will have a value of one and all the others have certain other values like this one has five this one has four three and six and we are supposed to make certain number of operations on these balloons so i mean this sequence of balloons so what we can do is we can pick any balloon at any moment and try to burst it so let's say for example we try to burst this one out so now this is out and what happens when we burst a balloon we will gain certain number of profit i mean certain amount of profit and the profit will be the, mul uh, the multiplication of the values the values are like the the balloon that we burst so we burst out three multi sorry multiplied by the value on its left and value on its right so this is the profit that we gain so this is the profit that we gain by bursting this balloon 3 and what happens is now this balloon is totally out of the context so now this 6 and 4 becomes adjacent now we have this sequence 5 4 and 6 and then we can choose to burst any of these 3 so let's say for example we burst 5 out now so now what will happen is we will gain this much amount so 5 multiplied by the value on the left that is 1 and then the value on the right that is 4 all right so now we gain this much amount of profit and this will be added to the overall or profit till now that we have and then what happens is let's now remove this one as well so now we have two more balloons left 5 and 6 uh, oh I think I just removed the wrong one let me just remove this one instead and yeah now I have this 4 and 6 so we can burst either 4 or 6 let's just take for example 4 and what we, we will get here is we will get 4 multiplied by 6 multiplied by 1 and so this is the profit that we will get by bursting 4 and then we, we are in the end left with 6 and 6 will have only uh, 6 has 1 on the right and uh, left and both so we will get 6 by multiplying 1 and 1 here so in the end we, we are not left with any real balloon so that's the end of the uh, 
uh, all the operations that we can do and so we we will have certain amount of uh, profit that we, we will gain from by bursting these balloons so as you see what can happen is this amount can differ when we choose a, uh, a different permutation of the uh, like the the sequence the order that we choose to burst these balloons out if we choose a different order we will get different value so what we can we have to do is we need to find the maximum uh, profit that we can gain uh, like by choosing some certain order which gives us the maximum benefit so what happened here is um, in this example we chose some order of bursting this balloon so we first cho choose to burst this one then we chose to burst the one with the five and then we chose to burn burst the one with value three four and then in the end we chose this one so we could have uh, let's say if this was the initial index one two three and four here so we could have chosen any other order as well like we could have first burst this six out and then four or four or five or three so we could start from any value and we can end at any other you know, balloon in the end and then we will try to find if this is a better answer than the previous permutation that we can have so in this way i mean the simplest solution that comes to our mind is what we can do is we can try to uh, for each uh, like we can try to find the answer for each permutation of the array and then choose the best answer but keep in mind that uh, the if the array size is big this the all the permutation can be as many as n factorial so if we are going to follow this approach this is not very op op optimal one so we need to find a better way to burst these balloons so that we get the best answer so let's think about that now all right so as we saw that uh, yeah generating all the possible permutation is gonna cost us a lot of time so what's the next basic approach that we can follow one thing that comes to our mind is that we can try to do a backtracking like we can keep uh, an array where we will mark whether a particular uh, balloon was already burst or not so let's say in this case we had four balloon and initially all of them were zero 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 and zero it means none of them were marked uh, like none of them were burst and once we burst one balloon so we can we can choose to burst any of them let's say we burst this one first then we will uh, mark this one as one and then we will find the answer for this one and what we can do is once we mark this and uh, find the answer for this one we can then unmark this one like do the backtrack and then try to mark the other one and then try to find the answer so here you can see the total number of states can be uh, as this is a binary string that we are following so it can be as many as 2 raised to the power n uh, number of possibilities also uh, in each recursive state we are going to find the ones which are not burst yet so it might add one more complexity here so it's as you can see it's still better than n factorial but yeah for the bigger n this also is going to time out so we have seen that the generating the permutation and then doing a backtracking uh, approach both of them are going to time out now let's try to think of something better than this so the next approach that uh, we should follow is to try to divide this problem into smaller sub problems and see if we can uh, find the answer for the smallest of problems and combine them up to get the answer for the uh, overall problem so as we said that we are going to uh, divide it into smallest of problems let's try to think of divide and conquer algorithm so uh, if we say that can, can i mean can we somehow think of it like if we break this balloon at any point and then can we say that the uh, balloons on the left and balloons on the right of this burst balloon are new sub problems and uh, is that the case the answer is no because now these two balloons become adjacent ones and then in future their answer can affect each other so 
these I mean these values can affect each other so we cannot say that by dividing uh, by first choosing this one we we can divide this uh, left and right uh, sub part into two different parts uh, two different sub problems then what else that we can think of so now let's try to think the other way around and so instead of choosing this being the first ball to burst we say that this is the last ball which is going to be burst so can now we can divide the left and right half as two different sub problems let's see so what are we saying is now this ball number two or the balloon number two is going to be burst in the end that means we have burst all the balloons till here and we also have burst all the balloons till here so definitely we can see that these two are two depend independent sub problems now unlike the previous case when we we burst this one first then they two also become dependent and here we don't see any dependency if we choose this ball to be burst in the end so fortunately we found that uh, this is uh, what we are looking for we can divide our problem into two smaller sub problems now so to generalize our algorithm what we can say that we are going to find an answer for a given range that starts from l and ends at r and we are keep in mind that in, in the beginning our l should be at this position and r should be at this position and these are the balloons which we are never going to burst and then what we are going to do is we are going to try out uh, bursting all the uh, balloons in the end like we'll we'll think that we are going to burst this one in the very end and then you are going to recursively solve for the left half and on the right half and then choose the answer for all of these possibilities the possibility to choose this one to be deleted in the very end and then this one to be deleted in the very end and then this one now let's try to analyze how our recurrence relation should look like so we can say that in the beginning we are going to solve this for a range of starting from l and ending at r and we said that we are never going to burst the balloons at the end ends like l and r and then we choose some uh, balloon in between and we say that i mean uh, ranging from l to r this means uh, we are not including l and not including r so it should be for l plus one to r minus one and then for each of each such i such index we are going to solve our problem for l to i and keep in mind that when we burst i we are not going to burst it again so this is very much similar to our bigger sub problem so f of l to i means we are not going to burst either l or not going to burst i as well and similarly here we are going to solve for i to r means we are not going to burst i and r and we are going to recursively try for all the possibilities for these sub problems as well and then what we are saying that if these the answer to these two problems two sub problems are known to us then answer uh, what we can say is we will have the benefit of um, by and uh, bursting one balloon and the very end is equals to this one that will be the array of l multiplied by the area of i and multiplied by area of r so yeah i hope uh, i was able to explain this i can also show how can we code this one now let's try to see that so all right let me just walk you through my code base here uh, so here i have also declared one dp table and this is because we can easily see that there are a lot of sub problems and which are going to be overlapping uh, for example, if uh, we can see that uh, there can be a scenario that we are uh, recalculating, we are going to recalculate a given range for multiple times. So to avoid recalculating it, we are going to memoize our solution. And also I have uh, here added two extra ones in the end, in both the ends, like in the very start and then very end. And then I'm going to solve my problem for 0 to n plus 1 because now the we have added two more uh, elements to our in the, uh, array so this have become n plus one would be the last index 
and then as I said we are going to try for e every balloon in between these ends and uh, what are we going to do we are going to decursively check the answer for left sub half and right sub half and also add the answer uh, or add the benefit that we can get by busting the current balloon and then we will compare this with all the answers the all the possibilities and then memoize it into our dp table so yeah i hope i was able to explain you guys pretty well if there is anything that you want to clarify or if there is any feedback for me please leave it in the comment section below and please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done thanks for watching this video guys